Hello everybody. Today we will going to solve some of the problems regarding exponent which was asked in SAT examination. Now start with the first problem. The first problem is if f of x is equals to 2 minus x 2 to the power of x by 3 and 4 to the power n is equals to f of 10 then what is the value of n? So we have two conditions over here. The first condition is f of x is equals to 2 minus x 2 to the power of x by 3 which is condition 1 and the second condition is 4 to the power n is equals to f of 10 and that is condition number 2. So to solve this problem what we will going to do we will going to take x as 10 so x equals to 10 now we will going to replace x with 10 in condition 1 so f of 10 is equals to 2 minus 10 2 to the power of 10 by 3 now 2 minus 10 is minus 8 2 to the power of 10 by 3 now 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 that is equals to 2 cube after factorizing 8 so minus 2 cube 2 to the power of 10 by 3 now we will going to use the formula of laws of indices the formula is a to the power m whole to the power n is equals to a to the power m n so in this case minus 2 whole to the power 3 into 10 to the power 3 now 3 and the 3 will cancel out each other now minus 2 2 to the power 10 as we are seeing 10 is an even number so minus will convert into positive so plus 2 to the power 10 now in place of f of 10 we can replace f of 10 with 4 to the power n that is condition 2 so 4 to the power n is equals to 2 to the power 10 now in place of 4 we can write 2 into 2 which is equals to 2 square so 2 square whole to the power n is equals to 2 to the power 10 now again we will going to apply the same rule which is a to the power m whole to the power n is equals to a to the power m n so 2 to the power 2 n is equals to 2 to the power 10 as we are seeing the base is equal so power is equal so 2 n is equals to 10 now n equals to 10 divided by 2 which is equals to 5 and that is the final answer so n is equals to 5 now the second problem the second problem is if 3 plus 3 to the power n plus 3 is equals to 81 then what is the value of 3 to the power n plus 2 now let me write it down again the problem the problem is 3 plus 3 to the power n plus 3 is equals to 81 now 3 plus n plus 3 now we will going to shift 3 on the right hand side with 81 so plus 3 will turn into minus 3 so 81 minus 3 is equals to 78 now we can write n plus 3 as n plus 2 plus 1 because 3 is equals to 2 plus 1 so which is equals to 78 now 3 to the power n plus 2 into 3 to the power 1 we can write it as because a to the power m plus n is equals to a to the power m into a to the power n so in this case 3 to the power n plus 2 into 3 to the power 1 is equals to 78 now 3 to the power n plus 2 is equals to 78 divided by 3 now after dividing 78 with 3 what we will going to get we will going to get 26 now this is the answer I hope you understand now the third problem the third problem is what is the value of n that satisfies the following equation the following equation is 2 to the power n into 4 to the power n into 8 to the power n into 16 equals to 2 to the power minus n into 4 to the power minus n into 8 to the power minus n so to solve these equations or solve this problem what we will going to do we will going to convert everything i mean the 4 8 and 16 
with a base of 2. So 4 after factorizing what we will going to get 2 square 8 will turn into 2 cube and 16 will turn into 2 to the power 4. So now 2 to the power n in place of 4 2 square whole to the power n 8 2 cube whole to the power n and 16 2 to the power 4. Now 2 to the power minus n in place of 4 2 to the power 2 whole to the power minus n in place of 8 2 cube whole to the power minus n. Again the formula of power we will going to use the formula of power is a to the power m whole to the power n is equals to a to the power m n. So in this case 2 to the power n into 2 to the power 2 n into 2 to the power 3 n into 2 to the power 4 is equals to 2 to the power minus n 2 to the power minus 2 n into 2 to the power minus 3 n. Now what we will going to do? We will going to divide both side by 2 to the power minus n into 2 to the power minus 2 n into 2 to the power minus 3 n or or we will going to shift 2 to the power minus n 2 to the power minus 2 n and 2 to the power minus 3 n on the left hand side. Now we can write 2 to the power n 2 to the power 2 n 2 to the power 3 n divided by 2 to the power minus n into 2 to the power minus 2 n into 2 to the power minus 3 n into 2 to the power 4 equals to 1. Now what we will going to do? We will going to apply the formula of reciprocal. The formula of reciprocal is 1 by a to the power minus m can be written as a to the power plus m and we can write a to the power m equals to a to the power minus m. So in this case 2 to the power n into 2 to the power n 2 to the power 2n into 2 to the power plus 2n 2 to the power 3n into 2 to the power plus 3n. Now what we will going to do? We will going to shift 2 to the power 4 on the right hand side. So it will turn 1 by 2 to the power 4. So now we will going to apply the laws of indices which is a to the power m into a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n. So 2 to the power n plus n plus 2n plus 2n because all the base is equals that means 2. So 3n plus 3n equals to 2 to the power minus 4. So 2 to the power n plus n 2n 4n 6n 9n 12n. So 2 to the power 12n is equals to 2 to the power minus 4. As the base is equal, so power is equal. So 12n is equals to minus 4. So n is equals to minus 4 divided by 12. So n equals to minus 1 third. So this is the final answer. Now the next problem. The next problem is if 125 2 to the power of 2x minus 4 equals to 625 2 to the power of 7 minus x, then what is the largest prime factor of x? So let me write it down the problem first. The problem is 125 2 to the power of 2x minus 4 is equals to 625 2 to the power of 7 minus x. Now how we will going to solve it? To solve this problem, we will going to factorize 125 and 625. So after factorizing 125, what we will going to get? The first question is how we will going to factorize 125. Let me show you. 125 divided by 5 will turn into 25. Now 25 divided by 5 will turn into 5. The similar way we will going to factorize 625. So in case of 125, 5 into 5 into 5 is equals to 5 cube. In case of 625, 4, 5, so it will turn into 5 to the power 4. So in place of 125, we will going to write 5 cube whole to the power 2x minus 4. In place of 625, 5 to the power 4 whole to the power 7 minus x. Now we will going to apply the rule of power a to the power m whole to the power m can be written as a to the power mn. So 5 to the power 
थ्री इंटू टू एक्स माइनस फोर इक्वल्स टू फाइव टू दि पावर फोर इंटू सेवेन माइनस एक्स सो फाइव टू दि पावर सिक्स एक्स माइनस टुएल्व इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव टू दि पावर ट्वेंटी एट माइनस फोर एक्स एज वी आर सींग द बेस इज इक्वल सो पावर इज इक्वल्स सो सिक्स एक्स माइनस टुएल्व is equals to 28 minus 4x now we will going to interchange the places of x and constant shift the 4x on the left hand side so minus 4x will turn into plus 4x and minus 12 will turn into plus 12 now 6x 4x is equals to 10x equals to 40 now x equals to 40 by 10 which is equals to 4 so The answer is x equals to four. This is the answer. Now the next problem. The next problem is find the value of x such that eight to the power x minus three is equals to sixteen to the power four minus six. These are the problems are very easy problems. So the very easy kinds of problems are being asked in the SAT examination. This is not a very tough examination comparison to the IIT examinations or WBJE examination. So how we will going to solve it? Again, we will going to turn eight into two into two into two after factorizing. That means eight is equals to two cube, as sixteen is equals to two to the power four. Now, two cube in place of eight, two cube whole to the power x minus three, two to the power four whole to the power four minus x. Again, we will going to apply the power rule. Which is a to the power m whole to the power n is equals to a to the power m n. Now two to the power three into x minus three equals to two to the power four into four minus x. Now after multiplication of power two to the power three x minus nine is equals to two to the power sixteen minus four x. As we are seeing, the base is equal. So as the power is equal, so 3x minus 9 is equals to 16 minus 4x. Now we will going to interchange the places of x and the constant. So 3x plus 4x after 4x will be shifted onto the left hand side. So minus 4x turn into plus 4x. 16 minus 9 turn into plus 9. So 3x. Plus 4x is equals to 7x, and 16 plus 9 is equals to 25. So x is equals to 25 by 7. So this is the final answer. This is the final answer. Now the next problem. The next problem is which of the following is equals to 4 to the power 10 plus 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 4 to the power 11. This is a very easy problem. So four to the power ten plus 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 four to the power eleven. We can write four to the power eleven as four to the power ten plus one because eleven is equals to ten plus one. So let me write it again. Four to the power ten. Four to the power ten. Four to the power ten. Four to the power ten plus. Four to the power ten plus one. Now on the next line we can write four to the power ten into four to the power one because because a to the power m into a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n or a to the power m plus n can be written as a to the power m into a to the power n. So four times four to the power ten is equals to four into four to the power ten. Now we can take four to the power ten common. Now what will left four plus four, so four plus four is eight, so eight into four to the power ten. Now we will going to simplify this. Simplify how we will going to simplify this because eight can be written as two cube and four can be written as two square, so two cube into two square whole to the power ten, so two cube into two to the power two into ten. So two cube into two to the power twenty. Now three plus twenty two to the power 
so 2 to the power 23 this is the final answer now the next problem the next problem is if 3 to the power x is equals to 27 then what is the value of 2 to the power 2x now 3 to the power x equals to 27 27 is equals to 3 cube because after factorizing 27 what we will going to get 3 into 3 into 3 which is equals to 3 cube now 3 cube as we are seeing the base is equals then x equals to 3 now what value we have to find out 2 to the power 2x in place of x we will going to put 3 now 2 to the power 6 because 3 into 2 is equals to 6 now 2 to the power 6 is equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 8 into 8 is 64 so 2 to the power 6 is equals to 84 so value of 2 to the power 2x is equals to 64 this is the answer now the next problem the next problem is quite very very easy because 2 into 2 10 to the power cube 10 cube into 2 into 10 to the power 6 into 2 into 10 to the power 12 now what we will going to do we will going to multiply 2 into 2 into 2 and power of 10 into the one places 10 cube into 10 to the power 6 into 10 to the power 12 now power of 2 is 1 so 2 cube into 10 to the power cube as we are seeing the base is equal so we will going to apply the formula of a to the power m into a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n so 10 to the power 3 plus 6 plus 12 so 2 cube into 10 to the power 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 12 is 21 so 2 cube into 2 into the power 21 this is the answer final answer now the next problem the next problem is 300 into 400 is equals to 12 into 10 to the power n then find the value of n now 300 into 400 is equals to 1240 after that now 12 into 10 to the power n now this can be written as 12 into 10 to the power 4 is equals to 12 into 10 to the power n now 12 will cancel out each other now 10 to the power 4 is equals to 10 to the power n as we are seeing the base is equal so power is equal so n equals to 4 so this is the final answer now the last problem the last problem is x cube whole square into x to the power minus 2 so x cube means by applying the formula of a to the power m whole to the power n is equals to m n so x cube whole square is equals to x to the power 6 into x to the power minus 2 that means x to the power 6 minus 2 because we will going to apply a to the power m a to the power n is equals to a to the power m n now 6 minus 2 is 4 so final answer is x to the power 4 so this is the end of this topic